Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a brand new golf ball in the house, the new Strix Online. What would you say is the appeal of Strix on over the years from a golf ball perspective? Like for me, it seems like they are very durable. Very durable. And yeah. they are also at a better price point than most of the top tier balls. Is that? Without any sacrifice to performance. Yeah. Like that's, that's, that's the kind of end to exactly what you just said. Yeah. yeah. So we'll have the Z Star and Z Star XV, XV being the higher compression, firmer ball. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And that's historically um, what we have seen it to be. It will be interesting. I've actually tested uh, these in advance. I've, I've done a little kind of quick test, nothing yeah. like what we're going to do right now, but um, and I saw some interesting performance. Okay. I'll be curious to see if you see the same thing. Something that you might like for your game kind of thing? Or? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah it might, might well be. Nice. We talked about the, the kind of redesign of, of when we get into the Pro V1 video. Lots of things there, new, new um, cover, sort of a casing around the, the core and that type of thing. I'm not hearing that from Strixon that they've, they've you know, reinvented their, their golf ball. It, okay. it, it looks to me like they've just made some subtle adjustments. But again, I'm going to let the numbers talk because as right. I say, I saw something that was very interesting that may be a huge talking point. Gotcha. So from a consumer perspective, they're going to see it on the shelf as what looks like an update, probably a little cosmetically and technology wise. Yeah, I, I think know. that's exactly right. Okay. Okay. Let's have some 50 yard partials. That was clipped lovely. That's good. Definitely a different sound. I squint. That's nice. That's ripping back. As good as I can hit it. That's hit well. The beauty. Love the flight in that one. Does it feel as soft off the driver? <sighs> Feels good off the driver. Mm -hmm. Good. 
The firmer ball feels a hell of a lot better overall. Is it? Oh yeah. More, more to your taste, which is interesting because you've gravitated towards the softer Pro V. Beautiful. Yeah, good. Okay, so quite an interesting test. Um, in different areas of the bag. I think the beginning of the test, I pretty early chose the standard Z-Star as the one I preferred the feel of. Mm -hmm. I think it performed best on the wedges, especially the 50 yard shot. I think the averages look more or less the same, but I can tell you for sure it took me a lot less shots with Z-Star. The XV was fine when you, I maybe just struck it perfect, yeah. but a bunch of them I hit that I thought were well struck, they actually launched a bit high, kind of spun a bit the low. Face a little bit. It kind of seemed like they slipped um, that cover, whereas the other one kind of grabbed the face a bit better. Mm -hmm. So on the wedges, Partial, I would say Z-Star was my preference. Your preference. And feel, definitely the softer feel on that Much that one. softer. Yeah, a little bit clicky in the XV for a 50 yard shot. So into the, the full sand wedge, um, we've got about 250 RPMs of difference. Interestingly, the, the XV was higher. Yeah, so this is where we started to get, a, I got a bit confused because I was expecting the XV has always been the lower spinning ball, yep. but it actually spun a bit more on the 55 degree. And I can alluded to this a little bit at the, at the start of of the test that I had done some testing with it and there was something that will maybe surprise us. Mm -hmm. This was it. This was it. This yeah. was the uh, the XV. Anytime I put a full swing on it, the XV spun more than the Z star. The iron was was very interesting to me because you seemed very you seemed very set that you were enjoying the Z star, then you didn't. And it was right here where you went, I don't really like the feel of this. No. Like I feel like I'm almost miss hitting them a little bit. It felt like I was miss hitting them. I don't know if that's an over compression or just the way the cover felt, but yeah, it felt like I was miss hitting them and they were spinning a bit lower. Mm -hmm. Now we hit so many shots that I, I think we got plenty of clean strikes, but the feel feedback was not nearly as clean as the firmer ball gave me. And to a lot of people, these numbers look very similar and they are, they yeah. obviously are, but this is, Z stars faster, which we would expect. Yep. This surprised me, the lower launch. Now, I can probably attribute a bit of it to the fact you hit a little draw with the XV and you actually left the Z star a little left. So, yes. you know, you find both of those on the center blue line, you probably go to 18 and a half a piece. And probably a little bit more spin even on the XV. Yes, a yeah. more spin, yeah, probably takes that in towards 6,000. Yeah. And then on the driver, I would say what we would expect to see between these two golf balls. Yeah. XV was faster, launched higher, spun marginally lower. I think the XV is a way better golf ball than it used to be, as long as you are okay to have more spin. Yeah. Um, the standard Z-Star for me, it just, it's very different than it used to be. I used to look to that one to be the one to spin it a bit more. Mm -hmm. It definitely seems like the feel of it's changed. Yeah. Some people may like that. For me, it wasn't my preference, but mm -hmm. I think if you like a softer ball, maybe it's perfect. Yeah, all round, I think the, uh, for, for my taste in terms of what I see in the bay and things like that, I, I think that XV is going to be very appealing. It's done a lot of great stuff. High spin on the wedges, low spin on the driver, yeah. get off the irons, it, it, it does. It's nice and fast. It's what we like about Pro V1X, it's a very similar kind of performance. Well, and we, we were asking each other halfway through, mm. have, have Strix and flip those around, and I'd said to you that, I, you know, the messaging for me was no, that, that hasn't changed. I mean, you know, you look at, look at the packaging, like feel soft and the um, uh, XV, softer on the Z-Star. Right. We, we agreed with that. Yep. And then when it comes to sort of distance and, and spin, green side spin, interesting, it doesn't talk about iron spin. Really? It talks, it talks about green side spin, highest with Z-Star, high with uh, XV. So huh. I do think that XV would be best for the majority of players it would seem like and we've seen that you don't have to be the fastest player to play mm. the firmer ball and the one part that we always say guys and we have to pre-qualify ourselves in our testing process and things like that we're not able to test the cover we're not able to test aerodynamics Strixon has one of the best reputations in golf for yeah. its aerodynamics package how the ball flies through the wind through crosswinds and things like that through a, he a, a headwind so you know, that's something that we will mm. hope to um, put a little plan to test all these golf balls Definitely. in different conditions. Yeah, an aerodynamics test might be good just to do Definitely. as a standalone. Okay. All right. Uh, just a couple more companies. Uh, there's a, the new Callaway golf balls that are out now. TaylorMade will have a new ball soon. TaylorMade have something on the, in the, on the way. Um, Bridgestone, if we can ever get a hold of them, <laughs> we'd love to test their golf balls again. And, I'll go buy some. And, and put to, uh, that's the only I'll thing, isn't some. it? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for more ball testing, guys. We will see you again soon.